G'day guys, my name's Pete. I'm one of the trainers here at Box Hill Institute. Um, today we're just gonna have a quick look at installing a window and the process that I go through for doing that. So the tools that we're gonna use is our spirit level. I've got my larger 1200 spirit level here and then my shorter one here, my 600. I've got all the tools that I carry in my nail bag. I've got my hammer, chisels, pencils, ruler, square, um, all my different bits and pieces that I keep in here that might come in handy while we're doing this one. We've got our window frame there to put in. The other thing we're gonna use here is a lovely box of window packers. So plastic packers are really, really handy. If you know that you need to come up one mil, you can just grab a little one mil packer. If you need five mil, you can come up five mil. If you don't have plastic packers, that's okay. You can use bits of timber, you can rip up some ply, whatever you have on site. Um, you can use Malfoid or plastic flashing, um, cut that up into strips and use that for packing. So you just want something that's going to be strong and not compress and that's gonna last the test of time as well. Oh, good. So if we have a little bit more of a look at our window frame here, you can see it's got some plastic flashing on the bottom. So when I install this window here, we're on the inside of the wall now. This is our face of the wall that's gonna be getting plastered. And then on the other side, that's our external there. We wanna fix our flashing to the bottom of the window. On timber windows, you'll usually find that there's a groove there for you to fix your flashing to and just fix it off with soft sheet nails. You wanna leave yourself with about 100 mil either side with the plastic flashing and then fold it up nicely, nice and neatly on the edge like that, just like a Christmas present. And what that's gonna do is when we put our window sits in the opening, any water or moisture that gets in behind the window and runs down to the bottom is hopefully gonna sit into that flashing, that plastic flashing, and that's gonna let it go out, outside and get away from the being inside the frame. We don't wanna have any moisture inside the frame. Moisture inside our frame is gonna cause mold, rot. First thing I'm going to do here is level up the sill. So it'd be great if I could use this level here, but it's a bit long. So the one way that you can use it is on the angle like that. I've got my shorter level here, which I could use like that, but I really want to level up the whole sill from about that point there to that point there. Because where you want to place your packers, is underneath these side styles of the window. That's where the points are. Directly underneath there is where you wanna put your first two packers. So a little trick that you can do is if you find a off cut of material, put that there, nice straight piece of material, and then I can put my level on top. And now I can level up my sill between those two points there. So I always like to start by putting a packer under either side and see where that gets me. And then I can adjust from there. You wouldn't believe it, but that looks really, really good just there. My sill is nice and level. Perfect. For a window this size, I'd like to pack it one more time right in the middle. What I can do there is grab a couple of different size packers and just see what fits underneath. I've got a five at either end, so I'll see if a five sits in the middle and it's just a bit tight there. So I think, that green pack is the way to go there. All right, so now I've got my sill packed nice and level. So what I'll do next is I'm gonna grab a couple of soft sheet nails. So just little soft sheet nails here. And I'm just gonna tack those packers in there so that, that way when I put my window in, last thing you wanna do, you get your window all nice, your sill nice and level, put my window in and I push all my packers onto the floor. So if I just nail those in, they won't go anywhere. Beautiful. So that's my sill done. So the way I think about it is the sill's nice and level, so when I sit my window on it, my window's gonna be nice and leveled as well. So the next thing that I wanna do is I wanna get a few packers on the side and then pack that plum. So then that way when I put my window in, it's gonna sit in our sill packers and be level and I can fix it off to that first side and it's gonna be plumb. And then it's just about um, packing the other side to suit. So I've got my level here. Can put it on the side. It's, this level is a little bit too big still. 
So if you did have a smaller level, you could use that. So I'm gonna start off there as well, get a couple of packers and just see how it looks if I put, I've allowed for 10 mil all the way around the window. I don't have to pack it exactly to the center of our opening, but it's nice to know what we've got there. So I'm gonna put a five mil packer at the bottom. And then I think it wants maybe six mil at the top. Now I've got my seal packed level and my side packed plumb. So the idea is that when I pick this window up and put it in our opening, I can fix it off straight away. And if I fix it off to this side, it's gonna be sitting on here. So it's gonna be level and it's gonna be plumb because it's gonna be fixed off to this side. So to fix my window off, you can use screws. Otherwise the other option is to use bullet head nails. So I've got some 75 mil bullet head nails here. So they're gonna work really well. I know that I'm gonna fix it off to this side first because that's the side that I've packed. So what I can do is if I grab my window here, I can actually sit the nails into some pre-drilled holes. So it's ready for me to go when I put it in there. So for a small window like this, it's all right for me to lift by myself. But if it was a larger window, you definitely wanna get someone to give you a hand. Same thing if it was glazed, it's gonna be heavier. And if it was a double glazed window, it's gonna get heavier and heavier. So there we go, our window is in our opening. Now it's important for me to keep my hands on it until I get it fixed off in the right position because I don't want it to fall. So we know that it's level. If I fix it off to this side, it's gonna be plumb. The only other thing to think about is how far into the wall do we want it to sit? So this is the side of the wall where we're gonna have plaster covering. So plaster is 10 mil. So we want our window to be setting inside from the frame 10 mil. So luckily our ruler on edge like that is 10 mil. If I get our window and hold my ruler on the edge of my frame like that, I can flush that up with my ruler and that'll be the exact spot where I want my window frame to be. And when I'm happy where that is, I can just tack that off like that and my window's not going anywhere. Now I won't drive these nails all the way home just yet. Depending on what cladding's going on the outside, sometimes like if it was going to be bricked up, the brickies might need to move the window ever so slightly. So it's best to just tack them into position for now. So I'll move over to the other side. Same thing, using my ruler to check that I'm that 10 mil for plaster. I'm tacking that off. So now my window is locked in position. I'm gonna pack underneath and on this one side. So the only other thing for me to do is to pack it on the other side so I know it's gonna be held into place. I'm not gonna pack it over the top. You should never pack above a window because if I did pack it, I put something in there and that was held really well. Just say above there's a bathroom and we're gonna put a bath up there and then the bath's gonna get filled with water. It's gonna get quite heavy. And then as pressure comes down, and it pushes on top of the frame above, it's going to push onto your window, put pressure on the window and then break the glass. So you always pack either side of your window and underneath, but never above. I'll chuck a few packers in this side and we'll be nearly done. So whenever you put your packers in, you wanna put them as close as you can to where your fixing point was. So where our nail went through. You can see how that's the perfect size. So it's in there nice and firm, but I can just push it, push it in with my hand. I don't have to really bash it in there. So that's that window installed. The next stages for us would be our linings would go on. So plaster would plaster the wall and then our architrave would go on and cover our join from the edge of our window reveal to where our plaster meets up with it. And then that window would be done. Beautiful. So that was our quick little guide on installing the window. Um, thank you very much for watching.